My name is uh, Kakoma Yunis. I'm a lecturer in heavy equipment repair at uh, Northern Technical College. Um, today, my area of interest is the cooling system of the motor vehicle. Uh, the cooling system is uh, one of the important um, systems of the vehicle. Cooling system's purpose is to regulate and to maintain engine temperature. There are two types of cooling systems. There is an uh, air-cooled cooling system, and we also have the liquid-cooled cooling system. Today, I will so much talk about the liquid cooling system. How is the engine that is liquid-cooled uh, uh, operate, or how is it cooled? Uh, here are the components uh, that I will show for the um, liquid-cooled. Here in the setup, you can see there is a radiator. Then we've got the radiator hopper hose. Attached to it is uh, the thermostat housing, where inside there's a thermostat. We've got uh, the fan, and below the fan is, uh, is a pump, what is known as a water pump. Then we've got the lower radiator hose. And then there are fins uh, around the, uh, the radiator. And ar around this uh, cylinder head, and uh, cylinder block inside, we know that uh, they are water jackets. So uh, I want to uh, start from when the vehicle is switched on. When the vehicle is switched on, uh, all, uh, water around the cooling jacket will just be moving around and uh, it will keep on running until it reaches the operating temperature. What regulates the, te what, what maintains the temperature on the engine is inside here, known as the, the thermostat. So depending on the temperature set for the engine to operate, that's the temperature stamped on the thermostat. In this case, it means that uh, temperatures are valid uh, according to the type of engine. Some, they, they are stamped 85 degrees Celsius. Some, they are stamped uh, 75, depending on the temperature set for that engine. So when the engine now reaches, um, uh, starts to warm up, because we know that the engine has to, if it is a four-stroke cycle, it, it has four strokes. There's induction, compression, uh, power, and exhaust. And usually on, on exhaust, you find that uh, uh, heat will be uh, being absorbed by the combustion chambers. And uh, if heat is absorbed, then around the combustion chambers, there are cooling jackets. You find that it will be absorbed in those uh, cooling jackets, uh, jackets by the a process known as conduction and once the water is uh, uh, gets to absorb so much heat it will now uh, become warm now will be forced to go to the upper part of the cylinder head and hence to force the thermostat from its position and water from the upper hose will flow through the radiator fins and once it's forced through the fins the fan will be turned on and uh, that uh, water that is fully flowing through the cores of the radiator will be cooled. And once it is cooled, it will fall down to the uh, lower hose. And once it falls to the lower hose, again it will go back to the pump to be circulated again. 